Why are you telling me not to talk? It's got game capture. Capture my book. I'll just edit this part out. But the... Uh, the OBS is... OBS is what? Only capturing the game audio. Yeah, but Audacity is catching out audio. Yeah. Which... It's fine too. Well, welcome to La Mulana, everyone. This is the most confusing adaptation of Mulan that I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> this is La Mulana. This is a game that was originally made quite a few years ago for PC, and it was remade for the Wii and then later for PC uh, quite re relatively recently. It is... Oh, it's a game. It close, most closely resembles... It's a game. It's okay. a game. It's, it's a Metroidvania. Mm -hmm. uh, it most closely resembles a game called Maze of Gallius, which is also a great game, and who knows, maybe we'll play it one day. But, um, it is a game where it kind of dumps you into the world, and you're just left to explore and do whatever. It's incredibly cryptic, incredibly obtuse. You just kind of run around and see what you find. Um, it's a very long game, uh, you know, this game is beatable in, like, you know, time as well. Speedrun is beatable in a couple hours, but... I think the average person will spend 40 to 60 hours on this game. I think I spent like 80 the first time because I'm an absolute like, perfectionist. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, um, Shin did let me watch the uh, tutorial video, yes. um, which was super helpful <laughs> for the question mark or three. Um, where, like, yeah. It straight up just throws like this maniacal little girl doll thing at you that just like mocks you constantly yeah. throughout the tutorial. That's and... Mobrook. Maybe we'll encounter her in this game. And like just be just like even though it's a video and it's not like you know me playing anything, I still felt like deeply insulted. <laughs> um, um, yeah, if, if anyone has just picked up or is going to pick up this game, make sure you watch the tutorial on the Steam store page because it it basically tells you everything that you should know about this game before going into it. Um, I'm pouring Nick's a drink because they'll need it. Help me. <laughs> Do you want me to add some, some whiskey to this? Or like, we have some. Why not? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Um, yes, my, my tip policy. So, this game is ruthless in its puzzles. In fact, I have played through this game at least five times. There is still at least two puzzles that I don't actually understand. Oh. That I just brute force every time I play this game because, and you know, do from memory because they're fucking obtuse. Um, I will not be being a walkthrough for Nyx. I will be giving them hints. I will mostly be referring to stone tablets that they may have already accessed because that's good. That's a good system. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I will tell you that you're not looking at this properly. Yes. Yeah, that's 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 fair. Um, and I will also be telling Nyx, because uh, basically this game has stone tablets. You can read them and they give you a bunch of dialogue. Some of, a, a lot of them refer to, to puzzles, a lot of them don't. I will not be telling Nyx anything about these other than this one you might want to save. Because there is a function to save up to 20 of them in your laptop's memory at any given time. Oh, okay, cool. So I'll basically be telling you which ones may or may not be important. Oh, that's that's even better. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, sync test? Yeah, yeah, do a sync test. And, All right. and the audience can listen to our behind-the-scenes sync test. Oh, wonderful. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next thing that has to make my job a little bit harder. <laughs> All right, I'm so sorry. start the game. I'm sorry. Finally, I've reached Lamulana. The adventure starts here. This is gonna be a plot heavy one, I can tell. Oh, yep, totally. here we go. Jesus, I like instinctively pause to not hit the child. No, you can hit the child. <laughs> Does it hurt? No. Yeah. They enjoy it. I don't think so. So, um, I played like this screen, basically, Yeah. last time. Nyx is a whole lot more blind for this game than they are Undertale, I'll tell you uh, Yeah, definitely. The only thing I know is that there's a bad thing left. <laughs> Remember that. Can I interact with this? You can! Oh, hey! There's okay. save files. Don't save under, over one of mine. Save on that last one. No, no file? Sweet. Surface. Oh, sorry. It's down to interact, is it? Mm -hmm. But it's... Unless you're walking into there, then it's up. It's up. <laughs> Should I voice this? Not a voice it? There's not much dialogue. I don't, I don't even know. Welcome, you that Professor Lemeza, am I right? I think, uh, I know what you're looking for. La Mulana, right? Don't, don't pack fire You're this. here? Yeah. You're, you're here? here? The rules can be reached down by the outskirts of this village. Your father went in there to do his research, but he ain't been back for some days now. He ain't been back. Yeah. Ain't got a clue what he's after, but since ancient times folks have been passing rumors down about secret treasures. Heck. Even the origin of life itself may be hiding inside these ruins. Maybe. Generation after generation, we've protected Lama Lana. Even so, I don't really know what her secrets are. I won't stop you from entering the ruins, but mind you, the mysteries of Lama Lana are unsolved because those that go in don't come back out dead or alive. Who knows what happens to you? Anyway, I'll tell my people to open up the entrance. Take a weight with you, too. You're gonna carry that weight. <laughs> Cowboy. Take this boulder with you. By the way, that is one snazzy laptop, and it's made just for archaeological exploration? That is amazing, so thin and light. And of course, looks like it's made in Japan. <gasps> I heard they make good games there too. Oh, one last thing. Unlike your father, you look like you need a hand. <laughs> Take this software. I developed it myself, with this ten torches and my staff. <laughs> it only gets incoming emails from me. You can't reply, but I'll send you all sorts of tips. She's like, the yeah, idea is <laughs> someone like emails him with like a tech support question and he's like, um, let me throw that one to my staff. And just stares at his staff. Prints out the email, puts it in one of the torches. Yeah. <laughs> let me see your laptop. Zelpud. Mailer. Yeah, Zelpud mailer. This guy's name is Zelpud. Here we go. His name is Zelpud. That's not a good name. <laughs> Here we go. It's installed. But don't forget, you gotta activate it from the software screen. Be sure to read all my emails! If I send you an email telling you to come back to the village, well then, you best come back! Got it? Alrighty, you're all set now. Off you go! That's our little introduction to the game. Uh, so... The shoulder buttons. Yeah, Whip! Around. The one and only weapon the professor brought with him, because he's got questionable choices! Mobile Super X. A tough laptop featuring only the adventuring essentials. Yeah, well, it's in safe mode, you know? Wait. The little R means that it's equipped. It is, so it's on. Yeah, it's on. Well, I can only have like a limited amount of software? Yeah. I don't... Okay. I think, oh, you got an email. Great! I'm gonna check that out. Welcome to Zelpod Mailer. You can trust this software for anything related to messages from me. Function, only receive emails from me. Details, this is the latest version of Zelpod Mailer. There are no plans for a version update. There is no help page. Help and troubleshooting requests will not be supported. Thank you for using Zelpod Mailer. Zelpod. Just fucking use Gmail, man. <laughs> that won't go on this computer. So now the other tents are open, you can check them out. Cheap, cheap, get it here. And you remember the tutorial, it told you to buy that. It did tell me to buy that. You know what, the tutorial is, uh, doesn't lie to you. It's user inspect stone tablets. It's good advice. Great. Sorry, we sold out. Don't worry. Sold out of, what? Bees and shurikens. Bees and shurikens. Well, it had a box with a bee on it. I don't know if there's actually bees in it. I don't know. Used to call them ninja stars. Small scanner, I was reading that. Small scanner used in conjunction with laptop. Allows text on various tablets to be scanned and read. Do I, like, have to use it on something? Yeah. You like. can use it on anything that's readable. 
Oh, but not now. Oh, yeah, even the top right. That's a tablet at the top right. It's just a really big one. You could use it on that. And you can save the tablets? Yeah. Well, huh. on these ones. The big special ones. How do I use it? Uh, I think it's the B button. No? X? Y? Why it is. Okay. This is the Holy Grail tablet. You can pick out from the last Holy Grail tablet you touched or save by pressing down. Everyone, make sure to follow the rules when using the Holy Grail tablet from Elder Zelpod. You got an email, bro. I, d I did see that. Maybe you should read it. I'm going to read it. Oh, look. Oh, wait, no. The other one. Sorry, arcane menus. Yeah. It's me. If you brought a hand scanner, you should use it to find out all, about all sorts of places. Reading stone tablets is a given, but you should scan anything from skeletons to mysterious objects. Come to think of it, I gave a map of the areas surrounding the village to a man long ago, but he still ain't come back. He might have died somewhere out there. Why don't you take a look at some of the skeletons? You might find a map. You know, skeletons? The skeletons just hanging around our village and giving people puzzles and, like, getting up to hijinks. Oh, wow. That's adventure gun. time, eh? That's a gun. That is a gun. <laughs> Say adventure time. Yeah. Oh, as in like it's time for adventure? Yeah. Not like a direct. Not not. Can a I talk to people? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Only intense. Yeah, only intense. Only intense conversations. You have to have permitted. really deep, intense conversations. Yeah, I don't need more emails. Does he do this all day? Yeah, he does. It's me. Good morning, sunshine. Dear Professor Lameza, it's me. I decided I should give this email thingy a try. I bet you were still wandering around the village. As a warm up before going to the ruins, why don't you try to get a hold of the shell? Board? It is inside the treasure chest in Sound Canyon, located above the entry to the ruins. You should be able to open it with a weight. Press down to place the weight. Alright, I guess I'll send you emails frequently. Stop by my tent if you get bored and want to chat. This guy's starting to wear on my nerves a little. There's a hot spring on the outskirts of the village on the way to the altar. It's a good way to rest your bones. Sweet. You showed me that yeah, at some point, didn't you? The tutorial, though. Yeah. Yeah. Check I think out. I meant you as in like, the game. Oh. The PC shop. What do you need? Do you do you want to? Sorry. Do you want? Do you want to buy the super expensive computer? Um, the most recent updated version of Internet Explorer or an Apple product? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's funny because that is literally a weight. Yeah, that was, well, that was what the joke was. Yeah, I know. I thought That's... you were just seeing it as like a useless pile of junk, and you know that'd suffice. Yeah. Uh, should yeah. I go by the weight? Um. Do some more exploration on the surface first, and then maybe buy like two or three weights. You get um, you get five of them per boat. So these things don't fuck around. They're snicks. Snick! Snick! Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I'll, I'll give you a little hint here. I'll give you some metagame knowledge. Um, the first time you break open a pot, it will drop a unique something, right? Okay. So like, the first time you break this one, it'll give you a weight or like 10 coins or so it'll give you a weight. Yay! So, whenever you see a pot for the first time, you should always break it. After that, they drop significantly less stuff. The first time is important. Come at me. Snack! Yeah. I'm on point. And this is a hot spring. Woo! Gonna get my one point of health back that I lost. Maybe you should examine the hot spring. Oh, how do I. Oh, with the scanner? Yeah, scan the hot spring. Hot spring, back to recover's health, rheumatism, curry addiction. I don't understand <laughs> a lot of what's going on in this world. So, uh, to borrow words from Igoraptor, uh, you have to buy an engagement ring to your jump in this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> There's like no other way. Is this full damage from here? Oh, wait, I can't even get out that way. I'm, okay, uh, that's gonna get. That's gonna take me a while to get used to. This, the jumps in this game are strictly monogamous. Okay, then. I, I, uh, I had everything except for the direction that I had to be in. Yeah, the jumps in this game are strictly monogamous. I... am furious. You know, maybe maybe we need to go with the Dark Souls adage of... You don't have to kill everything you said. Ah, mm, fine. I mean, I'll get up there later, I'm sure. Die, bird! You don't belong in this... Die. Die, monster? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Gee, you didn't stand a chance! It had a weight in it. You took a weight off that bird's shoulders. I am definitely carrying the burdens of killing that. What do we got here? Danger! Why don't you be on this point? That sounds trustworthy. Yeah, this guy. He seems fun. Yeah. I reckon I can take him. Yeah. I'm just gonna scan him! <laughs> I wonder if I can scan him. 
No, no scanning him. No scanning him. No scanning, no scanning monsters. No scanning monsters. No scanning monsters. Okay. I was waiting for him to like shoot a giant beam at you or something. Does he have beef? I don't think so. Right, you're gonna tell let him live long enough to find out. You've never let him live long enough? Yeah. Legend has it. Oh, you can take it. Legend has it that Argus, a monster with a blue body that is covered in eyes, is weak against the serpent stuff. Forgive me for not. I think we uh, we got voice acted out on Undertale yeah. a tiny bit. Where I mean, we'll we'll be voicing stuff in this because there's no there's no actual voicing, but probably not with quite the care and love that we put into one thing. Um, do you wanna do you wanna take characters and I'll take emails? How's that sound? Yeah, sure. Why not? That that uh that tilted me a little bit. What did? How do I? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Do I want that? Is it a thing? Maybe it's not even a thing. Is it not a thing? Maybe it's not even a thing. Hmm. <laughs> Should I not bother with it? No. Okay, thank you. That's what I was looking for. I look forward to dipping into that that toxic hot spring for a Ha! Here's a pro tip. Don't break stuff through walls that you can't get through, because if they drop stuff you can't get through. They despawn? Any like coins or stuff these ones. There's a there's one room in the game that's quite early on that people pretty regularly like say, Oh I can open a chest through this wall and they open the chest and then they wasted like a hundred gold. Gotcha, okay then mind. Um but yeah, like your jump boxes. Okay, what I love about this, this hot spring stuff, is that like hot springs are bad for you. Mm. Like like bacterially speaking. They're, they're good like, short term. Like You know I'm talking about the game, right? No, hot springs in general, they're like... Yeah, yeah, like... They're they have, good for your short-term health. Don't yeah. go to them too often. And and definitely, like, you you do not put your head below the surface of water. No, don't. Because, I don't know if you know anything about, like, I don't know, hot, stagnant water, but, like, <laughs> it's generally not good, you know, bacteria-wise. I still get confused at that, though. Like, isn't boiling water used to, to, like, make things clean? Well, it's not boiling, because you're... No, yeah, I get you. Because you're in it. Well, presumably, anyway. Like, you know, it might be quite hot, but, like... You'd still think, like, just below boiling oh! would be enough to kill most bacteria. I just saw my entire life laugh before my eyes. <laughs> well, my eye. I won't... I, I don't think I technically have eyes. I think you might have two, like, for one frame. Oh, you're totally right. Oh, you're totally right. I've got, like, yeah. yeah. I, like, warp together like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm... <laughs> Alright. So, uh... This is definitely. <laughs> okay, so I've tried. It. So that's the game smacking me on the wrist. It is, like you said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain that later. When we get back to it, I'll explain that. Later. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just gonna. <laughs> All right, we'll call it a draw, <laughs> sir. Oh, hey, coin. You can do it, sir. You can do it, skeleton! You've already ignored something in the game. Oh. What's, what's that? The game, there was an email. You should check it. No, no, I know that. That's the one with the weight. I'm gonna put the weight there. I get it. There's not a weight. What? No, like, is, it, is, it, is that a thing to put a weight on? Oh. Under the, under anything right here? Oh, that? But not now. Do that later. What are you telling me that I've ignored? Check your emails. Check my emails. Maybe I will. Pick the one that says research is necessary. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. I got a map. Uh, and then I sort of fell and died. Well, maybe it's not that funny. Obtain map! Good job. Great. Is it in here? No. Where you, is it? you can't use it yet. You need the map right in the Fantastic. Which we won't be buying for a bit because. That's the, tw the software that costs 20 gold, and we need the software that costs 50. That's very important. Okay. Oh, God. This... Mm. So yeah, we've, we've learned our first lesson. Like, this game is all about observation, and sort of uh, remembering the stuff that it tells you. Yeah, I'm not gonna get used to that for a while. That's okay. That's cool. So this is the way to get the shell horn? Is what you said? Got a whip chest open. I do. Yeah. Just like in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Shellhorn. Mmm. 
large shell fashioned into a horn. It plays a strange melody when you solve mysteries in the ruins. So whenever so, you solve a puzzle, this thing makes a noise. So it does like a Zelda. Yeah. Ding. Yep. I will not dignify that with a what? <laughs> oh, that's... you just filled up your filled up your experience bar. There's no leveling in this game, but you get those little green orbs, which are referred to as experience. Uh, when you get as much of them as you have health, so in this case 32, your health is restored. Huh. Which is a bit of a weird mechanic, but it's certainly useful. I can't check emails from here, Doc. Here you can. Okay, mm then. Aren't you? From what? From the ladder? I'm sure you can. Hi again, it's me. There's a large waterfall right outside the village, and I just wanted to warn you not to jump in for fun. Because it's got a pretty strong flow. If you get carried off to the bottom of the waterfall, you ain't coming back. Gotcha. This is uh, not quite a puzzle, but it's not quite a... Sirs? <gasps> no, please. Okay. I'll look at waterfall. So, don't go into the raging current. Don't go into the raging current. Is effectively current. what he said. Check outside. Oh, it's going super I, I fucked it up. Crap of water beyond this point. Weakling should turn back here. Well, I haven't bought strength software yet, so. Oh god. Mm. Nice. Why do a lot of games. Like, why is a. Whip is a very popular weapon in games. I don't know. It's, it's a Castlevania thing. Castlevania did it. Check out my whip skills. Yeah. Um. I always found it very interesting that different weapons in this hit in really weird places. So like, Ooh. the whip hits slightly above and behind you at the very start of the swing. Um, this was obviously intentional, for one, because all of the weapons do this in different ways. Like, some weapons hit a little bit below you, some hit a little behind you. But uh, the devs also acknowledged it in there, in them talking about making the sequel. Because they are currently making one on one too. Yeah, that looks exciting. It's super exciting. It's got a lady protagonist. Yeah. Um, there's whips. But yeah, they were like, oh, you know, we want to keep up the way that one on one had uh, weapons hitting strange places. And, you know, that's a that's a form of mastery. It's like getting getting used to an aspect of a weapon that you don't initially expect. Yeah. Um. Actually, this is serving as a pretty solid like introduction to the mechanics. Like, yeah. Um. Is there a way to actually jump up the ladder? No, no. No? Okay, so you're locked into it. Yeah. I thought I thought that was the case. You gotta get that ladder of wedding ring. Which is why I was quite, you know, anxious about climbing it with like two birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, so if you walk off an edge without jumping, you'll just plummet, like, mm -hmm. straight down. Can, can we go back to that, that first area so I can demonstrate that? Oh yeah, I will in a, in a little bit. Sir? So, okay. I'll, I'll try to stop killing everything I All see. Right. Um, so this is the first room. Yeah. Can I can I demonstrate this? So may I? Yep. All right. Shinkata has the control. So, for anyone who's seen uh, Aaron Hansen's Sequelitis or Ego Raptor, uh, that guy talks about some really interesting stuff, and you should go watch that video because it's good. The the Mega Man X one, it's really good. But this game does something similar, right? When you walk off, if you jump straight up in this game, you have full control on the way down. And the game wants you to do that often, because it gives you more control. When you do a sideways jump, it's kind of like Ghosts and Goblins, you're, you're locked in. You can change your speed a little bit, but you're mostly locked into the jump. When you fall straight off a ledge, as Nick just said, you're going down. There's absolutely nothing you can do. The game doesn't want you to do this. So, rather than have a tutorial saying, hey, you shouldn't fall straight off a ledge because, you know, it makes sense that you'd have no air control and also it's gonna suck, they do this. You'll be coming back to this point a lot, because the, the hot spring is to the left of here. So every time you come back here, you'll be walking off to the left, and that happens. You can't jump up, you have to either go around, or you have to waste your time breaking this vase. So, it does glitch out a little, so it's gonna make me look stupid when I inevitably don't fall through it. But for some reason you can fall through it, but you can't jump back up. And you have to hit the pot, and go through it normally. This happens over and over and over again. Nyx has the controller. It's a tiny, 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 tiny little slap on the wrist saying, don't fall off ledges, jump off. What are you still doing here? You ain't gone onto the ruins yet? Aha, you aren't scared, are you? 
Fuck you, old man. Alright, well, I collected a bunch of stuff. Um, let's save, yeah. So let's save. Uh, and then I'll, I'll go dip in the hot spring? Yeah, sure, come on. No, you know what, I've got five, it's just five health missing, I'll, I'll, I'll actually And you're, go. you're more than halfway to a quote-unquote level. And how do, wait, where, where did one descend? Did he explain that to me? No, you've got to go up. Where go up? With that, that way to the, the dais that you saw earlier, that I said no again. Oh, the one to the right? Yeah, gotcha. That's fine. Um... The one that I can't get to. You can get to it. Oh, jeez. I'm actually getting really mystified by what, what, what looks like a wall yeah, and, and what, it, what is straight to the background. Yeah. It's tough to get used to. No! Don't fall off ledges! I was taught this lesson just now! It'll take a while. Yeah. But, like, it's... for now, all the game does is mildly inconvenience you. And it'll start throwing enemies at you and then spike traps and then bottomless pits. You know, it'll, it'll ramp up. I, I'm not looking forward to the day that, like, I, um,. That someone like slaps me once with a whip, and I just turn directly into a log like Naruto. Mm, yeah. Well, did, I mean, I, did I just pronounce it in a way that will infuriate people? Naruto? No, it's fine. Naruto? It's yeah, it's fine. I thought I may have cursed myself there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, descending into the ruins. All right. So I'm also going to give Nick's little hints that are just going to make their life a bit easier. Hit that. This? Yeah. A lot. Yeah. There you go. Little shortcut. Is there any way I can identify destructible terrain? Or... No. Okay. So that's purely just like a know it or don't know it. Hit thing. walls. It looks suspicious. Hit. That's that's basically my my job description. Funk. Oh. <laughs> so similarly, oh. <laughs> you fall off there and you get a little splat on the ground. It doesn't do any damage, but it just inconveniences you. So yeah, there's no direct fall damage you were explaining to me, yes. it's, it's just a matter of like a... Also, you might want to start examining background objects, which you can do, like this thing. So I'm just, if I just spam Y, there's no real downside to that. Not really. Similar to the Kandi Benta of Bali Island, you decorate it differently. Okay. Great. Can I look at the face? No, but it's worth a shot. You said, wait, you just said no, but it's worth a shot. I mean, no as in, like... So you're saying there's a chance. Like, good thought process? Or? Yes, yes, that's right. Okay. What's up? It's me. You see that square box-looking thing by the entrance to the ruins? It's a box. Try pushing it. There's something similar inside the ruins that you can push as well. If something looks suspicious, don't just hit it with your weapon. Try pushing it. Later. You, you, direct, you and his advice are now directly, like, <laughs> already <laughs> clashing with each other. Yeah. Well, he said don't just hit it. Don't just hit it? Yeah. Don't just hit it. Try pushing it around. You okay. can also try pushing it. Oh, look, there's the tail screen. Those entering these ruins, beware. Do you want to take tablets? Those entering these ruins, beware. They lurk within this land of ordeals. Death awaits the powerless. They will speak only to those who have learned the seven histories and overcome the challenges herein. Bring your MacGuffins, yo. This ain't no preschool. Gate of Guidance! That's fun! Are you feeling bonely? <laughs> that felt like way more brutal. <laughs> like, he, he looked like sad and like defeated when I, when I was done with him. Okay. Yeah. So I need translation software as well for mm -hmm. some of them. That's right. So awesome. Awesome. But we need 50 G's for that, and we don't have that. And this one's broken. Yes. Also, don't remember to investigate- don't forget to- Oh, yeah! Skeletons. So I can investigate skeletons and dead people. Yeah. This ruins a little bit of traps. I lack the energy to escape. Well... <laughs> well, you- you didn't have far to go, friend, but... I mean, you literally were like a, a short jump away. But alright. You gonna play it like that? Apparently this is the Pillars Gate, room within the Gate of Guidance. So there's a name for each room, huh? <laughs> I've learned something interesting, but I'm likely going to die soon. This is a super cheery game. Yeah. Well, these guys are cheery. They're like, oh well, I'm probably gonna die. Guess it's not that funny. Also, the music in this game is fantastic. Also, if you just jump straight up, you have uh, no control over what you're doing. 
Until the way down. Until 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 you descend, which, yeah. which also feels awful. Ah, uh, it's fine. See, you solved the puzzle. And how did I solve it? There was a little thing there that you stepped on. Great. Got a sacred orb. Not here. The dog absorbed the artifact. No, please. Did it go somewhere? No. It's not. It, is it not on me? Uh, get out of here. And look at the top left. 64 <gasps> health. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Check that email. Don't you feel stronger holding that orb? Hey there, it's me. I thought you might have opened a treasure chest at the Gate of Gardens by now and decided to email you. The item inside that treasure chest is called the Sacred Orb. It's a secret treasure chest that gives yeah. It's a secret treasure that gives you strength. Your strength increases just by having it. Don't eat it though. I'll try not to eat it. I really like to think that Lamezza already ate it, and that's why I gave him the health up. Yeah. I mean it's not in your inventory. I'm just gonna have it surgically implanted into my uh back of my spine. Okay. Wait, let me take a look at that. No, that's that's yeah, you can just go down there. Oh, I can't make that jump up, can I? Yeah, you can. Can I? Yeah. I'm not from here. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, wait, you are an enemy. You were an enemy! I saw through you! <laughs> nah, you can drop down from the room above you. That's what- okay, that's yeah. what I was referring- I said I can't make that jump up there from here, is right. what I meant. No. Yeah. Yeah. Shouldn't I have been having trouble communicating with her Let's Plays at times? Yeah. Yeah. It's-, it's... Do we need a pointer? A pointer? Yeah. I need you to be able to see into my mind at all times. Okay, I'll work on that. Yeah. So do uh, orbs also heal you? Yes. No, I fucked up. It's fine. You should probably be on, like, on the lookout for traps, huh? Yeah. Uh, that skeleton. I will. These words, they're Greek to me. I should have brought that glyph reader. Well... We did, so we're doing okay. I, I saw you. I saw you. It's okay. There's no shame in being an enemy. Just know that I'm gonna fuck you up! These guys seem a little ashamed of being enemies. So this is another Grail's album. We will not save one. Oh, yeah, I'll save here. And you can read it. Oh, yeah. Except it's in some language. I feel like you mocked me there. Okay. Alright, we've All right. got 56, so we might want to head and get that software. Oh yeah? Yeah. So just fuck this place and head home? Yeah. Well, we'll come back here after we get the software. Alright, I'm an, I'm an adventurer. Yeah. We uh, might cut this if we... Shouldn't I get more money? Um, I think it's worth going back just for the... Just for the uh, Glyph Reader for now. Yeah, fair enough. The Glyph Reader's, like, super important. Just to make sure you're not missing anything? Yeah, and also so I don't have to spoil on things. Do I have to push that into place every time? No. And you see here how useful the, the neutral jump is. It's useful, but it feels awful. Really? Yeah, I'm sure it will feel less awful over time. Once I'm like defaulting to jumping with like, you know, forward motion. The neutral jump is super useful. You use it a lot. This is the wrong one. Yeah, come on. Damn. It's uh, the top left. Would you like In book screen. or gun? Top, top left, my dear. In the next screen. Oh, sorry. I missed next screen. <laughs> and I also misinterpreted top left and top right. <laughs> and fucked up in other glorious ways, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. There you go, got that one. I need a glyph reader. That's a glyph reader. With this, we'll be able to decipher the ancient words on tablets. I'll take it! Thanks much. Read it. Thanks. What?